stupid? How did the Congress? What do you think? Do you think that there was a, the conventional uh, concept of God, or do you think it just happened? Oh, well, that's not the full range of possibilities. No, that's true. <laughs> well, we could have come here from somewhere else. Oh, uh, that, that's also possible, but... But, uh, well, but then, what, where did we come from before that? Uh, absolutely. So you want to watch out for the infinite regress. That, well, that's what's your personal opinion? You know, put you on I'm, the spot well, a little I'm bit. I'm a scientist. So I say I go where the evidence goes. Mm -hmm. Not what I personally I know, would like what to What is the evidence I, as you interpret it? I would love to believe. Your theory. I would love to believe that there was a God who made us who's looking out for us, and loves us, loves us, we need takes love. care of us, and because, because we're, because guides us, and because keeps we're in us. such a mess, we're doing things so wrong, then we would be relieved of the responsibility of taking care of ourselves. The voice would come from up above and say, say don't stop, the, just stop polluting, the chlorofluorocarbons, the right. that's right. But that does not seem to be the case. We have to solve our own problems. We have to solve our own problems. Now on the question of the origin of life, uh, there's been some very interesting progress made uh, on the early Earth. There are two different ways in which the stuff of life, the, the molecules that lead to life, are made. One, it seems very clear, it was made in the primitive atmosphere, lightning, ultraviolet light falling on the Earth, that kind of stuff. And the other way is, it fell from the skies. Because at the time of the origin of the Earth, comet Lav de Brie was being swept up. The, the solar system was a lot, uh, a lot more traffic in it than there is now. And a lot of that debris, we know from the uh, exploration of Halley's Comet, for example, comets are very rich in organic matter. So the stuff of life was falling on the Earth. Now, is that the hand of God or not? Well, if you believe in God, God established the, the physical laws of the universe, and chemistry is a consequence of physics, so all those molecules that led to life were made by, by God. It's possible to believe that. I, I'm not opposed to that idea. I just say there is no evidence for it. And where there's no evidence, I say keep an open mind. Don't commit yourself in the absence of compelling evidence. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I, I agree with you. We, we're going to have to solve these problems uh, ourselves uh, that, we, that we have today. And, and, and in historical religions, uh, there are many wonderful, fine teachings. But none of them, uh, they're all ancient uh, by today's standard pre-industrial revolution. And uh, they didn't deal with the, the problems that we had today because when Christ and Muhammad and the, and the other prophets uh, were alive, they didn't have nuclear weapons. There was no problem with overpopulation or environmental problems, so they weren't even mentioned in the commandments and the Koran and, uh, and so forth.